everybody and welcome to another episode of Dav's Care. In this episode, we are going to do a very easy, tasty, crunchy Thai style salad here in the Southern Hemisphere. Summer is coming. So we're moving away from all those heavy meals that kept us warm during winter, something that's light and refreshing that's going to give us our beach bud. So what are we waiting for? Let's get cracking. For the dressing, we are going to be using some peanut butter. I prefer to use smooth peanut butter, but I'm sure if you want to use crunchy for that extra bite, along with the rest of the crunchy salad, you can. Then we're also going to be having some grated ginger, some rice wine vinegar, olive oil, soy sauce, if you prefer to use tamari, that's fine as well, some sesame seed oil, and then we're also going to be using some honey. If you are a vegan, then you can also substitute it with maple syrup. That's perfectly fine and it tastes just as good. The ingredients for our salad are red cabbage, red pepper, a red onion, can you see a theme here? Some carrot, some spring onions, some cashew nuts, lime, and also some quinoa. No, I'm not being extra by having two different colored quinoas. This is how it came in the packet that I bought it in. Usually we would have cilantro as well, but my son doesn't like the taste of cilantro, so we're going to leave it out. Let me tell you a little bit about quinoa before we start putting all our ingredients together. Quinoa may be the most widely recognizable of the so-called ancient grains. It has been a staple in the diet of people in the Andes for thousands of years. The Incas called it the mother of all grains. Long before Europeans colonized South America, quinoa was being cultivated and eaten throughout much of the continent. Now touted as a modern day superfood, quinoa has gained a worldwide reputation as a healthier substitute for white rice and pasta, and a rare plant source of complete protein for vegetarians and vegans. Quinoa acts like a whole grain, but it is actually a seed from a weed-like plant called goosefoot, which is closely related to beets and spinach, if you would believe it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grate the carrots. As you can see, I've got my grate out and off we go. I have popped the ingredients and the amount below the video in the description box. Right, carrots done. Onto our red cabbage. We'll need about two cups. Let's just um, chop that in half and let's pop, pop the cabbage in. Yeah, I don't have anybody helping me out so I can't do the edit in between. It's time for the spring onions. These are for my garden. So I'll just give them quick chop chops. That should be about a quarter cup. It's a little bit more than a quarter cup but more is better than less, isn't it? When it comes to salads. Right, let's put spring onion in. Time for the red onion. Now, I don't wear goggles when I um, chop my onions up. They do tend to get you once in a while, don't they? Right in the tear glands. Chopping the onion. Red onion in. And now for the red pepper. I always get these little baby peppers. <laughs> so if you've just come out of chemotherapy as well, and usually when you do, you're very weak and quite tired, this is a very easy and simple meal for you to prepare for yourself if there's no one around you to help. Not that I'm saying that you have to do everything on your own. One thing I've learned when you have cancer is to ask for help. Don't be shy. As my good buddy Amir says, shy baby gets no treats. Right, red pepper is done. 
And all we're gonna do now is just add the quinoa to that. Okay, it's time to do the dressing. To begin with, what we're going to do is we're gonna melt a tablespoon of honey. Yes, this is my big old honey pot. Get it? Honey pot, oh, never mind. And we're also gonna put the peanut butter in here. That is why I have two spoons. Because I didn't want to use my fingers. Then we are going to pop it into the microwave. Now, some people are quite fussy about using the microwave. And I know some of the cancer patients are quite wary of it. So if you don't want to use the microwave, you can put this on top of a pot of boiling water, like a bain marie. Okay, she's going for about 30 seconds. Right, I forgot to turn on the mic, but I know what's next. Let's mix the honey and the peanut butter together. Mix it till it's nice and creamy, yeah. Let's add the sauces. Let's start with the soy sauce. Three tablespoons. Then the rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon. One teaspoon of sesame seed oil, which is taking forever to come out. One teaspoon of olive oil. Let's add fresh ginger. Limone. Squeeze the lime. If you like it spicy, you can add some chopped chilies. All mixed. Let's add the salad to the dressing. Not the dressing to the salad. Time to give it a mix. Let's not forget to add the quinoa, yeah? Let's give it a good mix again. Lastly, the cashews. Back to mixing. I tell ya, my muscles are popping. Let's serve it in a proper bowl, shall we? And there you have it, your crunchy Thai style salad. Well, that's it from me. That was your crunchy Thai style salad. I hope you will use this recipe for our summertime here in the Southern Hemisphere. Take care of yourselves. Just remember you're not on your own. I'm here with you. If you've got any questions or comments, please don't forget to drop them on the comment box below. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, hi, hi. This video is dedicated to my very, very good friend, Mariana Musa. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate all your likes and also for those of you who have subscribed.